Hey, it's Old Man Coffee, and I want to thank you very much for returning to my channel. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. I appreciate that. Well, I'm going to make another trip into Quartzsite. And you know, I saw a Indian fry bread shop there, or fry bread stand, I guess, where they sell fry bread and uh, tacos and things like that. So before we make that trip into Quartzsite to check out the fry bread, I would like to thank all of my supporters. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank the continuing members. For $1.99 a month, they are members of my channel. And I really appreciate that. Also, the contributors to the channel help support it uh, through PayPal. And there's a link in the description below. So let's get into Quartzsite and see what, uh, see what we can check out about that fry bread, okay? It's been a lot of years since I've had some Indian fry bread. And so I'm going to get me some Indian fry bread here. And uh, it's really best if you don't get it with the sugar and the cinnamon and all that stuff, just plain. That's the way I'm going to get it. And then uh, I'm going to put chili on top of it. So uh, let's get some Indian fry bread. Yeah, that's great. Perfect. Yep. $3 yep. out of five. Four and five. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you have you. a wonderful blessed day. You too. Thank you. Well, I find the best way to eat Indian fry bread is when it's hot and with chili on it. So I've got me some uh, Wolf Brand Chili. I'm gonna heat that up in the microwave and I'm gonna enjoy some Indian fry bread. All right, gonna see if I can put this all together. This is gonna be good. There's the fry bread. And it's still warm. Right out of the grease. So, now I'm going to put some chili on top of that. Now, cheese on top of all that, on top of the hot chili. Melt that cheese in there. And of course, you know, gotta have the Bud Light. Yeah. What would it be without the Bud Light? Been a lot of years since I had this. Sorry about the light being so bright. This is really good. That is really good. There's something about the fry bread. It's got a little sweetness to it, but it's really good. And uh, yeah, it's just as good as I remember. When I was a deputy sheriff in Navajo County, I would patrol Joseph City. I was part of the county then still is I'm sure but part of my patrol area and a little cafe there in Joseph City that would serve Indian fried bread with chili and cheese and I would stop in there and uh, have some of that like at least twice a week uh, I really enjoyed it and this reminds me of that very much it takes me back to those days, and um, a lot of memories back there. But uh, this is really good. You ever get a chance to uh, have some Indian fry bread with chili and cheese? Believe me, do it, okay? Well, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this Indian fry bread, 
and I hope you enjoy the rest of my video. Well, it appears that my gray water valve, this valve right here, is uh, not sealing tight. So I'm going to have to take that out, see what size it is, and replace that. Okay, well I got the valve out. It's just a matter of four bolts and uh, separate it a little bit and it slides right out. This happens to be an inch and a half. So, I'm going out of the RV store here in Quartzsite and pick up an inch and a half valve. All right, I stopped here at uh, RV Lifestyles. And they have a lot of RVs that they're selling. And they have a parts building. So let's see if they have what I'm looking for. All right, so 1430. And it's what I need, so let's go put this in. They sell four wheelers here too, ATVs. All terrain vehicles. All right, the uh, new one's installed. And I put some water into the tank. And no leaks. Well, I'm being told that there's a problem with rodents in the desert. Little critters of all sorts. And specifically mice. Uh, they like to come out at night and they will crawl up into your engine compartment and uh, chew on the wires. Uh, there's one case here um, at the park I'm staying in on a van where that did happen and it cost them a lot of money to um, get that repaired so to avoid that happening with my RV and RVs have a lot of wires as you may know so to avoid that they said to string lights around the bottom of your vehicle or your RV and that will keep the mice away so I purchased these lights they are solar powered and this particular one is 200 lights, which is 64 feet of uh, light. And they come in different colors. I chose blue. I mean, if you're gonna choose color, you might as well have something that looks nice. So I cho chose blue. They were $19, uh, $19 at one of the uh, stands there in uh, Quartzsite. So I bought me two strings actually, one that goes all the way around the RV, and then I decided to put one around the, uh, the mat that I sit on out here, this mat right here. So um, they're all done, and I got the solar panels out, charging them. They take uh, three rechargeable AA batteries, and they come with the, uh, the unit, so I didn't have to buy any batteries. So I figured for $19, if I can keep the, keep the mice out, uh, that'll work. Also too, they have a different mode. Uh, they have a solid mode and they have a blinking mode. So I thought, well, what the heck? Uh, maybe the blinking would've worked the best. So uh, here's what it looks like at night on the solid mode. And then this is what it looks like on the blinking mode. So I hope that, uh, that this solves my 
potential problem of having mice in my motorhome. Well, thanks for watching. If you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and click that bell so you get notified when I put up the next video. In the next video, we're going to check out Merwin's Antique Auto Museum. He's got some really nice cars there, so be sure and stick around for that next video. So this will be Old Man Coffee saying, I'll see you in the next video from Quartzsite. You have a good day and stay safe.